What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is meet the most intimidating player in NFL history. Should be good. Should be interesting this. Intimidating. Intimidating, that means like, makes you feel scared, right? Yeah, scared, overpowering I guess, over town and stuff like that. And if you're on a, a, a pitch, I shouldn't, oh no, I should say field. I was going to say field, but I was like, oh no, I get told off saying that, it should be pitch. But I actually say pitch in England. And it's filled in America. Yeah, we call it a football pitch. But I thought about it way too much and got it wrong. Yeah. If you're on the field, <laughs> you're looking at this guy. Apparently, you're meant to be shaking. You're meant to be intimidated. Okay. You're meant to play not very good. Let's see if I'm feeling intimidated. Smash that button, guys. Smash probably. that subscribe button. We'd still see it. Appreciate it. Oh, you're definitely going to feel intimidated, yeah, aren't you? Hopefully not. I I'm here. I'm packing. Ugh. I'm feeling very intimidated. <laughs> no chance. <laughs> I'll, I'll defend you. I'll defend you. Smash that when you think I'll defend. Smash that when if you think I wouldn't anyway, but I would. And uh, movie channel, 99% sure the reactions will be out tonight. We're going to upload the video tonight when it's up. But keep an eye, links in the description to the channel. Go and check it out. The Goonies, we have copyright issues, but we're going to get It's nearly been up about seven times and then it gets blocked. We're getting so, so close. So go and check that out. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's meet the most intimidating player in NFL history. What we got? Casting. Nah, I can take him. April That's 20th. the name of a channel, not oh. the guy. <laughs> oh, you've just thrown shade at the guy who runs a channel saying his name times a week. That's, that's well harsh. We'll cut that, yeah? yeah. <laughs> 1981. The New York Giants, first round selection. Lawrence Taylor, linebacker, North Carolina. Little did they know, he was going to become the most dominant defensive player of all time. No need for that. Yeah, he's a bit of a beast, isn't he? I'm not scared yet. The dude's career started off legendary. On his draft night, he claimed he drank 41 beers. That's insane. <laughs> it had to be what a crazy night on top of the fact that he didn't even play football until 11th grade. And now he was the number two overall pick. The Saints, who held the number one pick, said that they weren't going to take him and they decided to go with the cleaner player. Okay. Which, the Saints were definitely too scared to pick him, weren't they? Yeah. Too scared. He just intimidated him. Mm, yeah. <laughs> Ironically, ended up being a bad move. The Saints pick wasn't a bad player. He was actually pretty decent. He had a few thousand yard seasons, not too shabby, but he's not a Hall of Famer, let alone the most dominant player Ooh. of all time. So Lawrence Taylor was a 3-4 outside was linebacker, that? mostly specialized in rushing the quarterback. He was bigger than most <laughs> linebackers and Sit faster down. than them too. It didn't matter who offenses tried to block him with. He was either too quick, too powerful, or both. Teams changed their entire blocking schemes when they would play him. So this one he time, Buddy Ryan, who coached the Eagles at the time, decided to call a play that would crack Lawrence Taylor. And it worked perfectly. Oh. Well, oh. that was the problem. Yo, if you crack the most intimidating player, He's getting back up and he's cracking mm. you, surely. Yeah. I'm expecting him to throw hands right now. I think he's going to get angry. Yeah, he looks angry from that yeah. already, doesn't he? Rule number one, don't piss off Lawrence Taylor. <laughs> the next two plays ended with two sacks by Taylor and the quarterback Ron Jaworski hobbling around. Jaworski over time feared LT. This poor dude had to face him twice a year. Jaworski said that he made sure he always knew where he was during the play, but wouldn't dare make eye contact. When LT was asked in an interview, but one, one player did ever make that. eye contact, wow. he said once, I winked. <laughs> Lawrence Taylor knew he could get into the head of opposing players. They come to the line of scrimmage, and the first thing they do is start looking at me. I know, and they know. When they find me, they start screaming, 56 left, 56 left. After the play was over, I'd come up to them and whisper, don't worry where I am. I will tell you when I get there. Not only was he a complete freak of nature physically, but he just was insanely reckless and a hardcore partier. He would show up to practice reeking of booze, and to counteract the stench, he would down an entire bottle of scope. An entire bottle of mouthwash? That's nah. gotta be worse for you than the actual drinking itself. Surely that's not. That's gotta, that's gotta be. I'm surprised he's allowed to play intoxicated. Oh, yeah, and it is 1981, beast, though, isn't it? It's 1981. So, look... There was probably no law around that. There can't be much. Yeah, I imagine no. a lot of them were drinking. But yeah, he just sounds like an animal. 
I don't. Why would you want to drink mouthwash? I, I think that story might have been bended a little bit. Let us know in the comments. It burns when I just gargle it and spit it out. Yeah, but he burns the mouthwash. He has it and he burns the mouthwash. Is that intimidating? Are you scared? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Feel a bit of fear. Yeah. <laughs> For me to look after you. One of the you. craziest things about this dude, he said starting his rookie year, he smoked an him. ounce of crack every single day. He would spend thousands of dollars every single day on it. Whoa. To pass wow. a drug test, he would have teammates give him urine samples, which ironically tested positive twice for two teammates giving him positive samples. There were times I'd be standing teammates. in a huddle. And instead of thinking what defense we were playing, I'd be thinking about smoking crack after the game. Well, like, well, you gotta understand though, uh, it didn't affect my play. He wasn't wow. lying. To start off his career, he went to 10 straight Pro Bowls, having seven seasons in a row with double digit sacks, including 20 and a half sacks and the NFL MVP in 1986. Crack and cocaine didn't slow LT down. Well, neither did injuries apparently. I made a video about how tough Jack Youngblood was, but this is pretty ridiculous as well. Playing against the New Orleans Saints, LT came off the edge, but as one of the offensive linemen he had beaten fell down, he brought his weight down on Taylor's arm, which ended up tearing a muscle in his shoulder. Clearly in a ton of pain, LT was not going to be denied the opportunity to play, even if it meant playing with basically one arm. So the trainers strapped it up as best they could and sent him back out on the field. One of the intangible factors of a dominant team, especially defense, is intimidation. Jerry Sizemore, a former offensive tackle of the Eagles in a New York Times article said, there were many sleepless nights. You played New York twice a year. Towards the middle of the week, something would just come over you and you'd just start sweating. My last year in the league, opening day, he just looked at me and laughed. Right there, I thought I had to get out of this game. The dude ended up quitting after that season. Wow. In the same interview, he also said, quote, I'm glad that LT was on the left side and that I was on the right so I could play as long as I did. The last thing I gotta talk about is LT's most famous play. Even though I'm sure a lot of you have seen this, I'm just gonna say this now, discretion is advised. LT completely snapped oh. the man's leg. One of the most oh. gruesome injuries in NFL history. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't really react, I didn't know what had happened, but that is awful. Could you just imagine being Joe Theismann's backup, going in after that play? Oh, no, please don't hurt me. This sort of thing is why <laughs> quarterbacks fear this dude so much. Former NFL defensive back Beasley Reese told the New York Ooh. Times, Ooh. I've seen Radiation. quarterbacks look at Lawrence and forget the snap count. One opposing quarterback, Finding himself under Are center before the down? snap, unable to locate Taylor. Because you, he's just different gravy. He takes anyone down his path. I could do that. Oh, yeah. I definitely. Let us know in the comments if this hits. How many likes? 50,000 likes. Yeah, I'll go on a f I'll go to football, football training. A practice, yeah. Yeah, I'll go to football practice. Actually, you know, a million likes. There you go. A million likes in this video, and I will fly to the USA, and yeah. I will I will, I will, will get myself in, don't you worry, Yeah. To with my skills, to a football game, and I will play in a football game. I don't know about play. No, no, I don't know about play. I'll, I'll have a go. Go to practice because by some miracle, there's like a 0.01% yeah, chance we actually get the likes. The thing is, is I, if you get a million likes, I know I'll get entered. They'll, I'll go to the practice <laughs> it's, it's and they'll be like, unlikely. I'll go to a practice <laughs> and they'll be like, I need you. We need you to play. And then all of a sudden, I'm in. The, I'm in. I mean, he's got a million I'm a screaming and running away. All of a sudden, I'm part of the team. <laughs> Out of fear, need to change my gender but... rather than run the play. There's women's only to find Taylor no, to standing on the sidelines. I don't want to fight that guy. <laughs> I was say, that did not last long. <laughs> Let us know in the comments if you enjoyed it. A short but sweet just one. It's Justin Bieber play. <laughs> Buy him. <laughs> there you go. Millie versus uh, Justin Bieber. If this gets a million likes, that potentially could happen. A million likes is a lot of likes. Not Justin Bieber, probably just some random. Football player. Smash that button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. You intimidated? A million likes and I'll be on the field. He was a beast, to be fair. Uh, that injury was whole. whole yeah, the whole snap in the leg thing makes me feel weird. Yeah. Let us know if you've seen him play before or what you thought about him, if he was like a ridiculously high-ranked player in yours. Mental, the fact he was on crack and cocaine. We don't condone that, obviously. But mental, he was and still performed at such a high level. Mm. It's ridiculous, Talent. isn't it?
Smash that like button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Watch the video. Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.